Hey guys, it's Silver Snorlax, and I am back today with a stack of PSA slabs in front of me. This is PSA Returns number 13. Lots of awesome stuff to go over. Uh, before I start jumping into it though, I do want to mention real quick, after round 14 is collected and shipped off here, and that ends in a couple of days, January 1st is my cutoff date for the next round. Um, I am revamping the PSA system, uh, sending system I have in place in the channel. So if you're interested in PSA sending, stay subscribed to the channel. I will be posting videos hopefully within the next week or week and a half about PSA sending. And I'll cover that again at the end of this video. But I did want to mention that right now. If you're interested in sending, uh, please hold off on PMing me right now. There will be more information available in the future. So. Now I got that out of the way. I do want to cover all the awesome stuff we got in this particular round. This particular round in terms of grades was fairly consistent, pretty steady stuff. Um, we saw grades that were pretty much the same across the board. Um, in terms of variety, however, we got lots of different stuff, which is really nice because I like to see a lot of variety on the channel. So uh, without delaying any longer, let's go ahead and start going through the slabs. Uh, we'll start off with this grouping on the right hand side here. This is from the Trading Carter. And his link, if you check the description, will be down there. You guys can uh, check out all the channels for trade, sales, whatever, for their PSA cards. Or if you want to, you can just send them a friendly PM and say, hey, I really enjoyed the cards that you sent off. So, all right, we'll go ahead and start it off with the trading carder stuff. First thing he sent was Gardevoir EX. That's from Delta, Delta Species. That's uh, Mint 9. I really like that card, by the way, the artwork. That kind of looks like Gardevoir is like on fire almost. That's pretty cool looking. I like that. Next, we got a Machamp Level X. That's Stormfront. Also a Mint 9. Salamence Level X from Arceus. Cool card. I really like how the artwork on a lot of those level X cards pops right off the uh, the little picture frame area. EX Crystal Guardians, we've got Blastoise Hollow, Mint 9, has it as a fighting type, Delta Species. Another Mint 9, Zapdos, it's from Fossil, non-hollow version. And then this was a pretty cool set he did. He did did the whole family. He had uh, Charmander from Rocket's first edition card. Came back as Gem Mint 10. Very nice. Missed a little bit here on the Dark Charmeleon. He got a Mint 9 on it. Still a nice card. Still looks good and encapsulated. It's actually one of my favorite artworks from the Rocket set. I like how that flame kind of encircles Dark Charmeleon. And then finally finished up strong with the card you want to score, Gem Mint 10, the Dark Charizard, the non hollow version from Rocket. So cool stuff there. He also had some sports cards graded. I'm um, going to go over those as best I can as well. Uh, and these are all put in new slabs as well. PSA is still not showing any love for the Pokemon cards as of yet. Uh, they're still doing the new slabs with sports cards. Uh, here we go. We got Hot Rookies. This is Ryan Tenehill. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I don't watch anywhere near enough football guys, so I'm going to botch names. Sorry. Same card, Mint 9. Hot rookies. Russell Wilson. Holding the ball with two hands. I guess I could go over the back of these as well, shouldn't I? There we go. Stats and such. I believe that's Isaiah Peed, running right, rookie card. Same guy, Isaiah Peed jumping. Nice little action shot. Another rookie card. I love this guy's last name. Monte Ball, with Ball. Denver Broncos. There we go. And finally, Monty Ball again with Ball in Air. I 
There we go. I just realized this. Not to belittle the card, and trust me, this guy is probably much more masculine than, that, than I am, but it looks like he's kind of scared of that ball coming straight at him. I just kind of realized this. The facial expression is fantastic. I know he's about to catch it, but he, he, lo he looks scared to death of it. So, that's Jim Mint 10 form, though. So that's cool. Um, all those sports cards, like I mentioned before, those are all in new slabs. Uh, they look really nice. I'm, if I, if our next PSA round doesn't come back with the new slabs around, I'm probably going to ask PSA what the deal is when we can actually expect uh, them to start encapsulating uh, Pokemon cards with new slabs, as that is something I'm sure a lot of people would like to see. So we'll go ahead and move right along. We'll do some of the smaller orders. Let's see. Next up, we had Guilty Crown Void 1. He had lots of good stuff. He had uh, 1002 Alto Mares Latios, Theater Limited Versus. It's a really nice card. I really like it. I like how Latios looks quite a bit. Latios, Gem Mint 10. Can't beat that, right? It's a nice card. Gem Mint 10 EX Battle Boost Shiram. There you go. It's real hard to see on camera, but if I catch it in the right light, you guys can kind of see how beautiful that card is. If you guys don't own this card, I highly recommend picking it up. It looks really nice. Uh, you know, maybe wait for the price to come down a little bit, but still, that's a really nice card, graded or not. This card, and you will never, you guys will never hear me say this. This is one of the few times I outright disagree with PSA. Um, on the grade here. Uh, this got a near mint 8 grade. It came, probably came from a similar box as the Sherm did or came in the same package or whatever, but um, it's got a near mint 8 grade and I could not figure out why. Generally if I look long enough I can figure it out. Um, the only thing that seemed glaring to me was how the top border was cut. And it's real difficult to see on this card, but it's real thin. You can compare it to its counterpart. Um, which is a little bit thicker, which might be the only real reason why, but I I looked at it, the corners are good, edges seem to be alright, unless it's something that's right against the frame here, and I cannot see it, which could be the case. Uh, but I looked this thing up and down, left and right, and could not find a single thing wrong with it. Um, no wax staining, uh, nothing oddball, no miscut, nothing. I could find nothing wrong with it. It was really, really weird. So... That's one of the few times I'll actually recommend a card to be reviewed as it got a really bizarre grade. Uh, I kind of half showcased this card already, but we'll go ahead and show, show it to you anyway. Near Mint Coro Coro 7 Mew. It's a nice card. Like I've always said, every time I get Coro Coro Mews, I just love how they shine and sparkle. They look awesome. They look pretty good on camera too. I love that. Next up. Japanese Game Boy Lugia promo. It's one of my favorite Lugia cards because you can see in the background there, it looks like there's like a little typhoon or something swirling in the background. That looks really cool. I like that quite a bit. And finally, one of the most popular cards that comes through my grading service is Lugia EX Hollow Unseen Forces. This one got a near mint eight, but that's still a really nice card. That one might have got a near mint 8 grade because it looks like there's a little wax stat stain or a little scratch on the back, but nothing nothing major, that's for sure. So the front light card looks immaculate, though. I like it quite a bit. Uh, we'll move on to one of the orders that was not processed. Unfortunately, this is from Gold Steelix. Unfortunately, one of his first times sending with me. Um, he sent three different cards. Um, these are all in Korean. These are not Japanese. These are, in fact, Korean. Uh, Palkia Full Art, Dialga Full Art, and Garbodor Secret Rare. And I'm not, I, I could I could be wrong on this, but um, actually, I'm almost positive I'm wrong on this. PSA, from what I gathered, is not grading Korean cards, um, which I, I didn't think was true. I thought they did. Now, it could be. Could be, I could be wrong, uh, that the set uh, that came out is fairly new and they had no way to authenticate it in order to process it. That is possible because what a lot of people don't realize is PSA doesn't outright just grade the card based on condition and then just leave it at that. They have to authenticate the card. They look for whether or not it's a real card or whatever. Now, in this case, they didn't say it was a fake card. They said there was, I'll show you the label here, 
no specific info, no grade, no holder. Uh, what that means is that they couldn't find it anywhere to authenticate it within their system. So it may be something as simple as you have to wait a couple of months and they grade it, or they're just not doing Korean cards at all. As Korean cards are fairly new, I guess you could say they're fairly new. They're fairly new and fairly new to being popular. That's the other thing. So um, not real sure what's going to happen there. I may end up giving PSA a call myself to figure out uh, if they will grade Korean cards in the future, but that is something that we are yet to see. So. Fortunately for Golden Steel, like, he, he just gets his cards back with full refund. I do um, honor the giveaway slots, though, since he had to wait a couple of months in order to get that back. So, unfortunate there, but it's something to learn uh, learn from for the rest of us. So, that is something to point out. If you're looking at having Korean cards graded, I would highly suggest waiting. Moving right along. We have Shiny Mudkip FTW for the win. Uh, one of my favorite cards right here. Raichu Hollow that got a Gem Mint 10. This is Japanese base the first one he got and the second card he received English card this is an unlimited dark Donphan got a near mint 8 grade I love how plain and simple the Donphan looks that's actually something um, that I also like I like cards that have a lot of aesthetics going for them the artwork is really in-depth really involved but sometimes real simple stuff like this like just dark Donphan just standing there that's cool too I really like how that can really just kind of bring a card together it's very simple very pure um, and in a way, it's, it's kind of elegant all by itself. So, uh, cool card there as well. And then next up, this is, I might mispronounce this, it's Colonel 0714. Sent a couple three cards off to be graded. First one being a Vrizion EX Half Art. Got a, got a Mint 9 grade. Plasma Blast Dialga EX Half Art Mint 9 grade as well. Which looks really nice. And the last card he sent was a Full Art Palkia from Plasma Blast, which scored higher than my own, uh, with a Mint 9 grade as well. It's a nice looking Full Art too. I really like the artwork. Alrighty. So that's a majority of the order. I've only got one guy left, uh, and that's the real 007. The final, final set uh, of cards to be graded. Uh, and he sent a whole bunch of different stuff. And he was super consistent on his grades. I'll go ahead and show you right now. All kinds of really cool stuff, too. Stuff I really like. Uh, we'll start it off with uh, Steelix. First edition Steelix. It's from uh, Neo. Neo Genesis. Mint 9 there. Blaine's Moltres from Jim Heroes. Nice card there. I like that artwork quite a bit. Uh, Kingdra the Crystal Quapolis. Nice card. Moving right into Crystal Crobat, Skyridge. Really like how I believe I think it was all of them, but I believe might might just be most the cards are English. People always ask me how come Silver Snorlax doesn't collect Japanese cards. This may be the oddest reason to give, but let's see if I can get the camera to focus. Maybe the oddest reason to give, but quite frankly, I just like a card I can read. It's literally that simple. Nothing wrong with Japanese cards by any means, but I really like English cards for the fact that I can just sit there and read them. Not to mention the artwork's cool. I mean, check out King. He's awesome. Moving right into Charizard. The Mint 9. And check out this bad boy here. We got a Gem Mint 10. This is Raichu EX Sandstorm. Come on, camera. Please focus for me. Please focus. There we go, there it is. Archie EX Hollow EX Sandstorm, it's a Gym Mint 10. So I believe that was one of maybe two Gym Mint 10s he got, or it might have been the only one, I can't remember. We'll, we'll see as we sort through. Uh, probably one of my favorite cards from the uh, lowercase EX sets. Um, probably in Sandstorm as well as Ty Typhlosion EX. The artwork in particular, all that red, it's a really rich red, reddish orange that I really, really like. 
Got a mint nine there, so that's a really cool card. I like that one quite a bit. Uh, next, he got a mint nine Waylord X Sandstorm. Followed up by a near mint eight version. Same card. Trickion EX Mint 9 Full Art. It's a nice card. I'm really big into modern full arts. I like those tons and tons. So that's an awesome card right there. Finished up, we got two cards left. Giratina EX. That's a Mint 9. And to finish out strong, we got a second Giratina EX. Uh, that one came back as a gem in 10. Really nice card. I like these quite a bit. They're really nice. So, big thank you to everybody who sent off with me. Uh, you'll have your cards out as soon as I can get them out into the mail. Um, now that holiday season's pretty much over for me, I work in retail, so I've been working like 12 and 15 hour days, um, which is why this video is coming up a little bit late. But uh, now that we're all said and done uh, just a big thank you to everybody who sent again everybody who's watching don't forget to check the description for all the channel links to all the users who sent with me uh, check them out uh, send them a pm just tell them hey i thought your stuff was awesome uh, so that's always nice to hear uh, like i mentioned at the beginning of the video my psa system uh, for sending is going to be revamped for this coming year uh, and will likely continue to be that way so stick around on the channel for uh, videos that will be posted about that uh, in the future and uh, hopefully that will answer a lot of questions that anybody has. Uh, my next cutoff date, round 15's cutoff date, is February the 1st, so you've got over a month to send cards in uh, for anybody who's interested. So that's part of my new system is cards are going to be collected every month now, the first of every month. Uh, that seems to be the most efficient system I have, uh, easiest system I have as well. So. Once again, thank you everybody for watching, uh, and hey, stick around, i got a giveaway results video coming up for everybody who sent for this round, and uh, hey, just keep it here, I've got all kinds of interesting stuff I need to cover yet on this channel, uh, new PSA arrivals, as well as a couple other fun things for you guys, so hey, thanks a lot, and uh, new upload again soon.